what's going on guys today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on the pun called zombie escape this is based off a mini game from Modern warfare from Call of Duty and in case you guys didn't know I was gone for about a week probably more but I'm sorry for that I've just had almost the busiest week of my life and I'm not gonna really go into detail about it but just so you guys know I'm back and I'm gonna be uploading regularly like I usually do so for this tutorial all you're gonna to have to do is come to the link in the description click download and you're gonna also need to download the plugin called world edit if you don't have that already so make sure you have zombie and world edit in your plugins folder and once you got that make sure you have any permissions you need from this page and go ahead and start your server and head on minecraft alright and once you're on the minecraft server you're going to need three things you're going to need an arena and make sure you put some creativity to this make it kind of cool looking put some obstacles in it and make it really fun for your players but besides the arena you're going to also need a lobby for your players to wait in and you're going to also need a place for your players to go to once the game is over. Personally, I like to have this as the same area as where the players just right click on the join signs at. So, once you got that, we're going to need our wand tool. Type slash slash wand. And this will help us select our arena. If you didn't get a wand, that means you don't have world edit. Make sure you have world edit. It's in the description. Okay, so we're going to select our two corners of our arena. Going from either top to bottom or bottom to top. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you go and you select both corners going diagonally across. So we're going to left click to select our first corner. We're going to go down all the way across and to the bottom and select our second corner by right clicking. Okay, so we should have two corners set going either top to bottom, bottom to top, diagonally across. Once we got that, type slash DE, create, and then type in arena name. Anything you want to call this arena, I'm going to call mine test. So once that's ready, we're going to go into our lobby and set our spawn for our lobby. So once you're in your lobby, type slash CE, set lobby, and then type your arena name. I called mine test, so I'm going to type test. Alright, so after that, we're going to set the spawns for the players. The spawn is going to be one spot. All your players are going to spawn around this area. You stand in that area and type slash CE, set spawn, and then type the arena name. Alright, so once we got that, we're going to set the place where the players go to once the game is over. Okay, so stand in that area and type slash ZE, set N, and then type the arena name. Alright, so now we're going to set the minimum and the maximum amount of players for this game. So type slash ZE, set min, type the arena name, and then type the minimum amount of players that you want to be able to start this game with. So I'm going to type 2, and it's almost the same command for the max amount of players. Instead of set min, just type set max and change the number to whoever you want for your max amount of players. For my max I'm going to have 5. Alright so once you got that now the last command is slash ce actually not the last the second to last command type slash ce set time your arena name and then it's going to be the number of amount of seconds until the game is over unless all the humans have been already killed and it's in seconds so make sure you know the calculations or numbers and stuff like that. So once you type 400 seconds that's that's a good amount of minutes. Now once you're done with all that, you're going to type slash ZE reload. And you're pretty much done. Now for the join sign, just get a sign out. Place it wherever you want. The first line, type ZE. And on the second line, type your arena name. Alright, so there we go. And when a player that wants to join, they just right click to join the game. And that is how you set this game up. Alright, so that's it for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys add this mini game to your server. And hopefully it's some fun for your players. Give it a thumbs up for this video and subscribe.